All right, I'm gonna show you how to buy Hex. So the first thing you need to do is go on the App Store on your iOS device or the Google Play Store on your Android device. And you need to download the MetaMask blockchain wallet. Once the MetaMask app has finished downloading, you can go ahead and open up the app. I've already set up a wallet, but if this is your first time, you'll be prompted to set up your wallet. Make sure to save your private seed words somewhere safe and do not share with anybody. Now, in order to get Hex, you're gonna need some Ethereum. If you already have Ethereum, great. You can go ahead and press the receive button and go ahead and deposit your Ethereum into your wallet. If you don't already have Ethereum, you can go ahead and press buy and you can use one of the many options to buy Ethereum with a credit or debit card. Now that you have deposited Ethereum or bought Ethereum, you can go ahead and swap that Ethereum by pressing the swap button for Hex. Now keep in mind, you will need to leave some Ethereum left over to pay the transaction fees. So do not use all your Ethereum. Now it could take a few minutes for the swap to complete. Once the swap completes, you'll have the Hex in your wallet. Now, if you wanna stake your Hex, which is optional, you can go ahead and click the tab on the top left. Then you're gonna to wanna to click the browser button. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and type in go.hex.com. Um, and then you're going to want to click the tab on the top right. And then you're going to want to click stake. Here's where you're going to type in the amount of hex that you want to stake and for how long. That's totally up to you. The average person is staking 5.3 years right now, earning between 35 and 40% interest. So once you've entered in the amount that you want to stake and the length, you can go ahead and press the stake button. Again, you're gonna need some Ethereum to pay the transaction fee. Now, if you're having trouble seeing your balance, click the tab in the bottom right corner and press reload. Sometimes you need to press that two or three times for your balance to show up. After you press the stake button and pay the transaction fee, it could take a few minutes for your, st your stake to complete. Your stake will start on the following day when the clock rolls over. You can see the timer countdown at the top right corner. Now once you've done this, you can go ahead and download the Staker app. You can see the link here. This allows you to monitor your stakes and also see what other people are doing. Now if you prefer to do all this on a Mac, or a PC, you can go ahead and follow the steps right here.